Right then, the babbling brook can be heard. But Wordsworth Coleridge and Wordsworth's sister Dorothy spoke of. I, of course I knew about ticks. Um, I tend to feel itchy quite quickly when I come up here. This is the peak of the tick season. I got limes up here real bad about two years ago. 2019. Yeah, I got really badly affected. Fortunately, they treated me. It doesn't mean you can't get it again, though, see? This is what I love. This is my childhood place. I've never ever forgotten this place. Never ever forgotten it. What's weird though, years ago, we used to be up here having picnics, playing in the streams, with our families or with our school on the annual trip. Do you know what? No one mentioned ticks. And I can't remember anyone ever getting bitten. I got stung with another boy by ants when we fell in a nest. And that was awful. But, um... Nope. I can't remember any ever getting fleas or anything when I was a kid. We never, or nits, nothing. Weird, isn't it? It's pr probably easier and nicer going down than up here. I thought I would do it at the start. I didn't want to make it a, not a chore, but a slog. Up. Oh, hello! So I'm doing a video, I just... What was I saying? Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been coming here all my life. And uh, I've never forgotten this place. I could probably do it blindfolded. You know? Some people there having a picnic. Got a couple of dogs. The dog barked at me, but because they were eating, so they're probably thinking, You're enough no food. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a quick look. It's harder to see the deer when there's all this tall bracken. <laughs> I've got some brilliant shots of them though. When you're right up on the other paths, further up higher. Yeah, they'll be in the coombs or lying down in the bracken. They do that as well. Right, over and out. Right, a little bit more videoing. Doing a bit of video. Just that change of battery. All these lovely trees, the stream, the lovely gnarled trees. We'll have um, stream crossings coming up shortly. Um, I think the streams might be quite full. Sounds like it, doesn't it? Um, now I've cut normally this time of year, they're not, and you get across easy. Look at those lovely oaks, look at them. They're majestic, like soldiers standing to attention. Aren't they? Look. Beautiful.
Lovely old trees that have been here for years. Lovely old trees, some seas mees. Hiya. Hi trees. It's Sheila. I'm always coming back, ain't I? I tell it's going to be a bit slurpy in a minute. This is where you do need your good walking boots on. <laughs> or wellies. Um, but we can do a hop, skip and a leap if we have to. I've had to... Uh, I've had to mess about looking for crossing places loads of times even with my good walking boots on because um, foxglove because I don't like getting my boots wet because in my experience as soon as they get wet they, they've had it I expect you can actually have proper type spray and that that you put on your boots. Now in here, this is the sort of place you'd get an adder if it was sunny in the bracken there. A bit too nippy for them today, so they won't be out today. This open space here I remember well. I brought my children here. We used to stop at sometimes at an open space and have a picnic. Um, and like I said, when they were small, I can't remember thinking, oh, we've got to look out for ticks or anything. A tick never came into my mind, like cows didn't. <sighs> anyway, the main thing is, I am, I am doing a type of march, really. Um, I'm just eager to be able to get round, to, to, to have a view, to see, to look into there, for example. Isn't that Gorgeous. All those ferns go right in, look. Go right in. Like I said, I've taken videos coming down here for years and years. But I've, this is the first time in 2021. First time. 2021, I'm still coming here. 21st century. The roaring 20s. I'm quite enjoying having a little bit of a... Uh, striding out a bit, I'd say, what I call it now. Um, I know this place so well. Look at that. Look at that rich green. Look at those beautiful trees. Right, I'm going to turn off, take a picture. Yeah, I was just saying, it was about this time of year when we were school kids. It was uh, still summer term and... It would be in like July though, we used to come and go up the Glen, go up what I now know is called Slaughterhouse Coombe we used to go, play in the streams, pick the Wilburys, these bushes here. Um, I must admit, I haven't seen an ant's nest, not those great big mounds that we used to see when we were kids, I don't know what's happened to them. They used to be on hills like this. Great big termite mounds. Right, coming up to the stream now. Sometimes I have to wander about. I don't want to because um, you're more likely to pick up a tick. I might have to do some hop and hop, skip and jump here, but somebody might have uh, left a way over. Some streams are harder, and it's quite fast, as you can see. Look. Look at that. That's quite fast. Isn't it? Well, I reckon you could get over here. Put the camera away a minute, Sheila. Let's put it away a minute, because we're going to try and get up on that bank there. Yeah, that's the best way. Right, just saying, I managed to do that stream. That's stream number one. What I remember, though, 
is that one of them's quite quite big. That I've got to do in a minute. Quite big. It'll be the the stream where I always used to sort of turn and say, bye Jude, see you again. Um, all this reminds me of my childhood, all this, all this, all the way down there. Let me just, t I just got to stop a minute, take a picture. Of I'm having to keep turning the camera on, on and off. Um, if I get another camera, I'll just use this one for photos and then I can have, you know, like, um, Oh, there's someone at the stream trying to cross. Then I can have like one camera for videoing, one camera for photos. Somebody trying to cross, well he's done it. He's over. I'm having to keep on. There's another way up that way. Go for the shallow a bit. Found to get a bit wet, didn't you? Yeah, this is, I think this is, yeah, this is the one. What you have to do is just go across and don't think about it. Otherwise you'd never get over. Yeah, this is this is the bit I'm thinking about with Jude. So um, there's a stone there. 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 And there. That's it, we've done it. It's not very deep and it's I've known this before when it's been deep and very, very fast uh, and quite difficult to cross from that point of view. Now he probably went over there, look. So you get your feet wet at all. It could be that he went on that wood and climbed up there. But it would have been a harder coming down. Easier going up. And this is where I would see Jude, sat on the bank here. In the early days when she died three years ago. In 2018, it was hard, and I, I this place just oozed my my feelings for her, and still does, still does, and I still feel Jude here. I do. This will always be our childhood place, and of course, grown up. But I never, don't think I ever came up here with her after the age of about. No, I don't know if I did. I think we mainly was childhood. I think so. It's gone quite grey now. I'm not moaning though. The blue sky is supposed to be reappearing this afternoon. My aim is to get to the green and have my picnic. Then I'm going to make my way to Old Foxen House to see what they're getting up to because it's been taken over by Buddhists. They're turning it into some sort of educational place. So, um, at least it, the house is being saved. That's all I can say. So I want to spend a little bit of time there, going to see if the walled garden is still there. Um, Yes, nippier than I thought. Might be time to get the jumper out in a minute. There's some lovely foxgloves about. Look at that scene. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely scene. Foxgloves over there, tall foxgloves. There's a lot of them this year. Up on the Mendips as well.
Yeah, I should be higher up again on the way back. I'll be climbing out and getting up on the top. That's the plan. We're doing very well, actually. Um, I haven't dawdled. Uh, for some reason, I haven't felt the need to dawdle. Just being back, just walking through here without getting too emotional and upset and just being able to walk through here and say, yeah, hi, as I walk by. It's one o'clock. That's very good. That's another hour. Now, the bit that takes quite a bit of time, actually, is we have to be cross a stream up here and we've got to walk back towards the green. There's a track we have to follow. It seems to go on forever and ever, to tell the truth. Uh, we'll be, get, we'll be doing it in a minute. Now I've seen ponies with their foals here in the past and I've been up a track over there that takes you up, up onto the top as well. Yeah, you think you're nearly there but you've still got that hike back. You know, and then if you bring small children out here, it is quite a can seem quite a long way after you've already taken them all up in the hills and everything. Yeah, so the weather's gone dull and chilly. But it doesn't matter. Overnight.